Hi, I'm Andy Rickmer, and welcome to this episode of Scratch Cooking. Come into my restaurant at Crystal and Jewels in downtown Madison. All right, welcome back to my restaurant here at Crystal and Jewels in Madison, Indiana, for another episode of Scratch Cooking with me, Andy Rickmer. I'm the chef and owner here at Crystal and Jewels. Um, today, uh, I'm going to show you how to break down a butternut squash. I know some people probably see them in the gro grocery store and not know what to do with them or intimidated by them, but it's a really good vegetable for, for uh, uh, fall and winter that you can use. So today I just got a peeler and first thing we're going to do with this squash is we're just going to start taking off the skin here because this is tough. It's kind of bitter and you don't really want it in your food. So I'm just taking this off all the way around. Take the top off. Try to get as much, you'll have a little green uh, running through it right there. You'll see them kind of going down. You just want to try to get most of that off because that is part of the skin that will make it bitter. And this peeler I'm using, it's, it's called a Kuhn, K-U-H-N, and it's just an English peeler. They're five bucks on the internet, best peeler you'll ever buy. They're plastic, real lightweight, and they're just awesome for peeling potatoes or whatever. I do about 12 potatoes a day here for the restaurant, more on the weekends, but I can bust through them real quick with that. So now I got all my skin off, I got the stem off. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the top and the bottom right like that. Whoa here. Easy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split this right in half. And when you open it up you'll notice the seeds are right there. So I got me a spoon and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go around that with this spoon and get all them seeds at one time. Those go in the trash. Same thing on this one. You can kind of see how I'm just working them seeds right out. And if you leave a little, you just go back with your fork and kind of scrape it out just like you would a pumpkin, like you're getting ready to carve a pumpkin or whatever. You just get all that, that out because you don't want that in your dish. So now with this butternut squash, I'm going to show you how to break it down into like a small dice. So if you wanted to saute it, um, you could uh, leave the skin on this, uh, oil it real good, both sides, stick this in the oven and roast it, and then when you pull it out, you can make a puree out of it. That's what some people do. But what we do here is we saute it in a little chicken stock, and then we add brown sugar and butter to it. So now I'm going to start just making little slices like this, just real thin. And you'll get to the end and it starts getting easier where them seeds were. And you'll just get little, little slices like this. So now what we do, um, don't concentrate on, on getting a perfect dice because you're not going to get it with this. So I just kind of make even cuts all the way around like that. And then where the seeds was, it's easier. But then as you start getting up towards the front, what you'll want to do with these is I kind of just cut the half moons in half and then just start dicing them like that. And what you're left with, um, these you would just put in a pan with a little bit of uh, vegetable oil, saute them real good till they're, uh, you know, starting to get caramelized. And then that's when you'd add your a good, you know, quarter of a cup of chicken stock. Let that reduce down. They get real soft when they start to get soft. Then that's when you add your brown sugar and butter to your taste. Uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, and they're perfect for fall and winter. Um, this is the last, pretty much the last thing in. Um, so this will get you through winter time. But I hope you learned how to break down a butternut squash today. Uh, thank you for joining us here on Scratch Cooking WKM News. Um, come down and see us at Crystal and Jewels. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thanks for watching.